happy Friday. In today's video, we're gonna be decorating the space you see behind me. Now, when we came to this house, I, I knew I wanted to bring this look back. If you remember our old house, um, the big house with the dual staircase, that one, I did this in the kitchen and so many of you would always say how much you love that look. And, you know, adding the shelves allows you to change your decor pretty much anytime you feel like it. And so I wanted to have the flexibility to do that here as well, because I could put a picture on it, add artwork, add signs, add cute decor for the, that would, you know, tie in with the kitchen or the dining room. And this allows me to do it. Now, when we first got this house, I was concerned, would I have enough space between here and that sliding farmhouse door? And as you can see, there's plenty of room. So with that said, let's get decorating. So just to get a little close up, this was the most adorable cabinet that I got at Home Goods. It used to be hand painted. And when I went through my coastal phase, I decided to paint it white. I wish I hadn't in hindsight, but it is what it is. Anyway, it's been through several moves. It's a little rustic, shall I say, on the top. It's a little scratch and stuff, but I don't care. I still love it. Um, here, I added a lamp, just like I did at the old house. And then I have these two cute um, shelves that I got from Ross years and years ago, but I love it because it's sort of distressed on the side. And you can have um, a place, if you want to you know, put uh, plates up there, they sit perfectly in those little notches, um, but super cute. So, We'll decorate this space and I wanna show you right here, I have a sliding door. This leads to the laundry room, but even if I open it all the way, it stops right there. And I have, it. you know, I put the cabinet right there. So it all works. I've gotta be honest with you, I'm sort of working with slim pickings. I brought a ton of decor, but I pretty much utilized all of it. And there are some things I should have brought that I always decorate with. And I only brought one. I'm like, Liz, like for example, a uh, cake stand where I usually put my cute faux muffins or, you know, I decorate with that through the seasons on, on cabinets or tables like this. One, I'm like, what? Yeah, I brought one and it's already being used in the kitchen. So I can't use it here like I did at the other house, but um, yeah, let's see what I do. So to start, I'm gonna be using this cake stand. Um, I got this at Home Goods years ago. And what I loved about it is uh, the detailing. And yes, this is a cake stand, but it didn't come with the glass top. So um, I'm gonna be doing something a little different. <laughs> I know there's a sticker on it, but for the sake of time, no one's gonna see it. Next, I have these two big, beautiful bowls that I got from World Market <laughs> just before we left. And they were so inexpensive. They were only $12.99 each. And for the size, I thought that was a steal of a deal. <laughs> I got this uh, little garland last spring on Amazon. I like it. It's got the little white flowers. It's plastic, but it's super cute. And I'm just gonna like put it in the bowl and kind of fluff it out. So you see, I kind of like it spilling out of the bowl and I put one bowl straight and I kind of tip the other one and uh, you know put this in. I mean I could go like that. I don't know what do you guys think? I don't know if you guys can see but it just started snowing. Perfect day to decorate. While 
I have you over here, let's switch uh, subjects for a second, shall we? I've got this uh, cute little basket that I got at Hobby Lobby. And what I did was I just added um, a simple little thumbtack right there, if you can see. And then I twisted my wreath around it. I love the texture and then I love um, the pop of green. And then all I did was take a nail and I went right up here like this. And then I just stuck it into the wall. You'll see in a sec. <laughs> And that's how it looks. So if you have a little space somewhere on a wall, hang a beautiful basket, you know, to add that texture and then add a wreath, a seasonal wreath to bring in a pop of color. And I just think it looks adorable. Okay, now on this side, I have these two really cute farmhouse shelves that I got on Amazon. If I can find them, I'll link them below for you for sure. They come in a set of three, I've shared them before. Um, but I absolutely love these. I love the legs, the, I love the white distressed, um, you know, boards and these little legs just screw right in. Super cute. And I'm just going to set these right there. You may notice that I'm covering the light switch. Uh, yes, yes, I am. I don't want to see it so and I can still slip my hand behind it it's not a problem so all I'm gonna do is add yet another pop of green why because I'm so into green right now <laughs> Now, moving up to the next shelf, I wanna show you one other thing. I got that cute little um, sign right there from Amazon and it says bath. I just love the little hanging signs around your house. And then when you have company and they're like, excuse me, where's the restroom? You can say, oh, look for the bath sign. Now on this shelf, I'm gonna be adding this chalkboard um, tray from Hobby Lobby. I'm not going to be writing anything on it because above this, I'm going to have a sign that says market and I just don't want it to look too, I don't want it to look like a sign and then like a, you know, sign with writing. So this is purely just to add a backdrop. Next. I love myself a topiary, and I'm pretty sure I got this one at Home Goods, but I love the little detailing around the edge, and I'm gonna set it, I don't know, maybe right there. So around this house, I am absolutely loving the light wood color with white. This is like a white marble um, with neutrals and then pops of green. It just works so well. When you guys see this whole space, you'll, you'll see what I'm saying. So I think my approach, because this is one big open room, if I were to show you everything, I won't have content. So I know it's frustrating. A lot of you want to see me to stand back and show you everything. But until I uh, get through each space, um, then I'll draw back and you can see everything as a whole. But anyway, let's place this. <laughs> Next, I have this beautiful pot. Where did I get this? It was probably Kirkland's. And then I just have some dried florals in here and I'm gonna set that on top of that little cake stand. I may have to scrunch this down a little bit to see if I can get it to fit under that shelf. We were making our way through the town, yeah. Never really wanted the night to end. And I was wishing to stick around. Now, because we're close to the kitchen, I'm gonna add this cute little, uh, canister that says tea. I think I got this at uh, TJ Maxx.
I just found this the other day at TJ Maxx and I thought it was super cute with two little hearts. And I might just set it there because it looks kind of weird just being black. So. <laughs> and I'm looking at this and I'm thinking we need sort of an architectural looking detail to give it some character and I ran out to the garage and I thought oh I wonder if this will fit up there and I found this at Hobby Lobby and I love using these as simply a backdrop I use these on the wall I use these on shelves I use these on, um, what are they called? They're like a, like a dual shelf table and I'll place it down below as just a backdrop and then put you know a couple decor pieces next to it. So I'm gonna place that up there if it'll fit. Yep, it works. It works all right, and I think it looks cute. But next, I have this cute uh, farmhouse, I guess, riser that I found on Amazon. I'll link it below if I can find it. And again, these came with just the board, and then you simply, you just you know screw the little feet on, easy peasy. I'm gonna set that right up there on top of the shelf. here in West Virginia, we noticed that almost every single house we went in that was new had a texture on the ceiling. And we thought, that's odd, nobody does that anymore, at least in Virginia. And so we asked around and everyone says, oh, it's a West Virginia thing. So for all my gals that live here, is, is that true? Is this like a West Virginia thing where they put texture on the ceiling? And to finish this look off, I am adding this sign that says market. Why? Because I'm trying to pull in this color and obviously the white. And when you see all this put together, you'll understand why, but I'm just gonna lean it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on top of the riser, kind of like this. You'll see. <music> wrap up this video today. I hope you enjoyed this little nook kind of off the kitchen and uh, we'll be back here next week and I believe we'll be working on the kitchen and on to other stuff. So stay tuned. I will see you then. Have a great weekend and thanks for joining me this week. Love you all so much. Mwah. Bye guys.